Ahoy there, cruise nerds, and welcome back aboard to my channel, DCL Cruise Nerd. My name is Megan, and I am your host. Now, today's topic is getting denied boarding aboard the Disney Magic. But before then, let's sail away into some cruise nerd updates. All right, cruise nerds, so just some quick updates, so, and just one or two uh, items. Uh, one is a refresher and one is just an announcement that happened this past week and uh, we'll go from there. So, um, now the first update uh, is actually happened this past week and that was the announcement of Pixar Day at Sea for the Disney Fantasy and for the Disney Dream Marvel Day at Sea. Now, Marvel Day at Sea is not new but it is new aboard the Disney Dream, since the Disney Dream is taking the place of the Disney Magic to make way for the Disney Wish. And her maiden voyage for the Disney Wish is June 9th, 2022. And we're a, almost a, roughly around 120 days or so. I can't wait, I'm excited. Um, I'm actually on the maiden voyage, so if you are as well, uh, let come say hi to me. I'll be excited to meet you all. So can't wait to see everybody aboard the maiden voyage. Um, now, Pixar Day at Sea is going to be on the Disney Fantasy uh, early 2023. Mm -hmm. so, now, I've noticed that the Marvel Day at Sea is a little bit more popular than Star Wars Day at Sea, but that's just my personal opinion. So I think that's probably why. Um, and I know... For Pixar Day at Sea, I don't remember the exact year, but year, a few, like sometime in the last six or so years, they did try the Pixar Day at Sea on the Disney Wonder for a couple of sailings just to kind of test it out. And apparently it was a hit, so I, I'm guessing that's why they're bringing it back. Um, that's a possibility. I'm not saying that is the reason, but that is a possibility. For a refresher, the refresher that uh, is needing to uh, be reminded of is on January 13th, as y'all all know, in December they made an announcement that starting on January 13th, everyone who is five years and older must be fully vaccinated uh, in order to sail. Disney Cruise Line has yet to make an announcement on the booster like other cruise lines have. So as of right now, as long as you have the two shots or the one shot um, for vaccinations, you are good to go. Now, uh, that is actually all my cruise updates for today. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right, cruise nerds. Like I mentioned, today's topic is about getting denied boarding. And let me tell you, and I know probably a lot who have, are watching this video will probably agree, it's no fun. Especially when you get that dreaded call saying that you are one or more of your family members have tested positive. It's not fun. Now, my mom and I have never shown any signs of COVID-19, no symptoms whatsoever. My allergies were acting up, but I could tell they were allergies. I, it didn't seem like COVID-19, at least to me personally. So we didn't think anything of it. And uh, so basically what we did uh, we, at the 30 day mark before the cruise, we did our online check-in for Disney Cruise Line. And then at the 15 day mark, we uploaded our vaccine cards, vaccination cards. And uh, so we were basically ready to go. But other than my seasonal allergies that happen around this time of year, uh, I didn't show any symptoms. My parents didn't show any symptoms whatsoever. Nothing. And, but we, we've been trying to stay socially distanced from everyone, try to uh, quarantine to make sure that we don't catch it just to be on the safe side. Um, even if it's minor symptoms, we try to keep on the safe side. I chlor rocks down everything, make sure everything's good to go. It was our cruise date for Marble Day at Sea on the Disney Magic out of Miami. So we drive down there and my sister and brother-in-law were also going so I'll explain that in a minute as well if you have a travel with party now um, my sister and brother-in-law they live in a different household they were gonna meet a, they 
were going to meet us down there. And we would just meet on the ship after the testing, so uh, we're clear that we didn't want to jinx anything, knock on wood. So they got cleared, and we said, you know, we'll meet you, go to Rapunzel's, we'll eat lunch there. That's the plan. So they get on, and we're still waiting after our tests. Uh, it was about 45 minutes or so. I get a call on my cell phone, uh, I guess because I was the lead guest on the Disney Cruise Line Reservation. Okay, so this is at the process at this point. So they give you a call, and they say, hey, this is John Smith from Inspired Diagnostics. Is this the such and such family? And then at that time, they, well, they'll have you confirm yes or no, and then they'll say, okay, such and such family, meet me at the top of the escalators uh, for further instructions. We're like, okay. And we got all of our stuff together. And, and of course, at this time, my mom and I were both nervous. We were both scared. <laughs> I was shaking. I was literally shaking. And at that point, um, they took us into um, a secluded area in a, like, a cut, like, a, they had walls up for each section, like, two, cubicle one, cubicle two, cubicle three, and they had us in our own private little, uh, cubicle, and we just went, and they said, just wait here for further instructions. We we're like, okay, and we were keeping my sister up to date, we were keeping my dad up to date, he was going to meet us later, because he had to do some things prior to coming down, so he was going to take a flight in, and we told him, like, Dad, just wait. Um, we're getting some news from, from me and Mom. So at that point, we waited for a few minutes. And then at that time, I would say 10, 15 minutes later, an actual nurse from Inspire Diagnostics came in. And she, is, uh, she was so sweet. And it's nothing against them because they're just doing their job. But, of course, we bursted out into tears. Um... Not to, like, excuse the fact that we had COVID or don't have COVID or whatever the situation is. We were just in tears because we were just in shock. But she did tell us that both of us actually tested positive uh, for COVID-19. And we were, like, we were super careful. Uh, we, and she advised us at that point, you know, it could be so minor or like the symptoms that we didn't we wouldn't have noticed even if we took extra precautions we wouldn't have noticed because we've been double dosed uh in the vaccine we had we probably were the very minor side of COVID-19 so which in a way is a plus but still it's break heartbreaking so at that point she told us you have COVID-19 you will be denied boarding so at this time uh, and then she told us what the next steps were and at that point, a Disney Cruise Line representative, someone who actually works for Disney Cruise Line, will come by, and he, he or she, they, the person that we talked to was a he. He gave us a few moments, so because he knows it's a major shock. Um, he told us to like take a breath and everything, and he gave us the option to either get a full refund or to plan a our next cruise. Those were the two options that he gave us. Um, future cruise, like in a way, uh, a full refund or use the money for a future cruise. Um, apparently, because we use future cruise credit or at least the way that our particular reservation was set up, um, it had to go back to our future cruise credit bank. Uh, so we use future cruise credit. So it went back to the future cruise credit. It took a couple of days. It took about four days uh, for us to see the future cruise credit come back because it, the cruise was setting out on a Saturday. So apparently a certain team had to take care of it. But um, they took care of everything. Um, and we were not charged for anything. We got all of our money back. And... At that point, we could then reschedule our cruise. But when he offered us, um, at that point, when they do offer you the full refund or um, 
to reschedule, they are going to give you a letter. So it's going to be on this type of paper. It's going to have blue, the Disney Cruise Line logo. And they're going to write down the date, the, your reservation number, um, stateroom, that kind of thing. And it's also going to talk about you're either going to get the full refund uh, letter or you're going to get uh, the rebooking letter from them so you can have a copy. Then at that point, they're also going to send it to the cruise line uh, team shoreside. And then after we got that choice, the full refund, um, he then asked us, is there anyone else traveling with you, like a, another stateroom? I said, yeah. We both said yes, but they live in a different household. We have not seen them at least for a good month, month and a half, and they're already cleared to sail. So they're already on the ship. Now, if that happens, that is okay. As long as you have not seen each other um, at, for uh, a certain amount of time, you're good to go. So, um, so they were okay to continue sailing. And they enjoyed the time of their lives. They just felt weird not sailing with us, and they felt really bad. But we told them, don't feel bad. Enjoy the time. Enjoy the cruise. And also what they will ask is what your luggage looks like and they'll give you like a rough estimate of how long it will take for you to see uh, your luggage come out they will take you to your luggage and for us it only took about I would say up to 15 minutes so not too long we got our luggage and they put us in a private van because we drove they put us in a private van so we're not around anyone else to expose them um, and they took us to the parking garage and at that point once we got to the parking garage we went got our uh, car and we drove on home and definitely a shock but that's what happened so to kind of overview um, if you have tested positive and also on our cruise because I know I've seen this on Facebook pages how many staterooms or how many families got denied boarding from what I've been told for that particular cruise like roughly 30 staterooms were denied boarding and uh, and that's including myself and my mom so that was a lot of staterooms um, but for all of you uh, who have not been denied boarding or you have a fear of getting denied uh, this is my tip and get yourself tested uh, to see if you or your family has tested positive for COVID-19. And if you have, um, you could still have a chance to do the 90-day recovery, um, which in this case for our cruise coming up in about 10 days. Well, that's what we did. We're basically doing the 90, 11 to 90-day recovery uh, method. So go ahead and get yourself tested. If you tested positive, um, make sure you keep a, p a copy of that positive test um, as well as get a letter from your doctor saying you are cleared to sail. That is what you're going to upload to the, the DCL Safe Passage. And then if you did drive and you do have either a rental or your private personal vehicle in the parking garage, they'll put you in a separate van and take you, um, just your family, to the parking garage so you can get your vehicle. I would recommend as soon as you get home, um, get another, if this is your first time getting tested positive, if you've tested positive, I would recommend getting another test done once you get home and get settled back at home. Uh, just so you can see if you do test positive. I did, again, test positive once we got home and my mom tested negative. So I think either she did have COVID-19 and she recovered or it was a false positive for her at the port. So one of the two. Um, so I can't really say if it was a false positive or not, but it could have been. Um, but we, we uploaded those documents to Safe Passage. Once again, I'll do that in another video for Safe Passage to kind of give you an update. Hey, this is what you have to do. But all in all, my experience was, you know, yes, it was a shock, and I was very sad that I could not go on the cruise. But then again, it was definitely an experience, so I know how 
everyone who has been denied boarding feels uh, when you can't go on a cruise when you've planned on going on that cruise, especially with vacation time and also traveling down and things like that. It, it definitely is a major step. So, uh, and it's definitely a process, especially trying to figure out how to get back home and whatnot. Thank you all for being very patient with me um, this past month or so. I know a lot of you reached out um, and asking, hey, where have you been? We've missed your videos. And I greatly appreciate the support. Um, but um, it one, it has been busy with work. I have tested positive, like I said, I have tested positive for COVID-19, but I have minor symptoms. As you can tell, I don't seem like I have any symptoms whatsoever. So um, it was probably very, very minor. And, um, but I will be back on a routine uh, with videos either uh, a few a week or one or two every week but I will be going on a Disney cruise very very soon sometime within the next 10 days uh, so I will definitely get that other video up updated video for uh, safe passage website so look out for that but all right cruise nerds thanks for watching if you have not done so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well as follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram for more breaking news and updates. I hope everyone has a great week out there. Stay safe, have faith, trust, and fix us, and I'll see you real soon on board.